Well, how's it been, folks? It's been a while. We seem to, uh, have gotten lost somewhere on planet Earth. I don't know exactly where we are, but it seems to be the natural habitat of the CSC TT250. So I'm just gonna go right around here and see what we can find out. Now, actually, I'm in, uh, Marriott, right outside of Fernley, Nevada, and man, this is the place for this bike. Kind of. I don't know. I mean, I could definitely see, like, yeah, if I had a KTM, I could be flying around out here. At the same time, I don't know that I'd want to because not being around here, as you just see, there's tires and the stuff. You know, people go shooting out here a lot. There's broken glass. There's shot up whatever. So, you gotta be a little bit careful. Before we go super crazy, I do have a long desert segment. I've found a lot of cool places to ride, a lot of cool things, wild horses, a whole bunch of cool stuff, sand dunes that I cannot ride on at all. But this was the coolest thing. Right in the, like, the center of town, there's this little MX track, which, I mean, I suck. I, I really am a beginner off-roader. But I went around it just to see what it was like. By the way, I didn't adjust my tire pressure, so I suck even more than normal. So, yeah. Have fun. I mean, besides work, this kind of was the main reason I decided to go pretty much across the country to find a place that I really liked and could do stuff I wanted to do. Coming up here, I almost bust my ass kind of jumped into a turn. I came up off the hill a little bit too quick. But man, it's a saving. Now, I mean, it was mid-morning. Uh, it was probably about like 7 o'clock in the morning, so I didn't really want to you know, piss people off. But I decided to go into the desert later. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's a dear God, it is hotter than hell today. It's 93 degrees. I don't feel too bad, though, because it's desert air. I really gotta get some new gear. This goes to shit, it can't work. Can't be running around with all this. Dark stuff on. These mirrors suck. This show. These brush guards, I mean, well, they work. I can't say they have it. There's many times I've dropped this thing, but. Alright. These keep them from falling off. I'm looking for that. Actually, this was the first area I ended up coming down uh, when I was roaming around the city the first time. And this canal road goes out into the desert. After the uh, dirt road goes, it starts to get interesting. On the right side, there's a little bit of a dirt spot, but 
I'm not that good. There's a lot of sand spots in here, but I'll ride this. Gotta remember to stand up. gotten the RX-3 just because I've actually ridden this bike on I-80 just to get to work, uh, just because my uh, other vehicle was down, and I mean, I was going like probably 60, 63 tops, which, you know, that's fine for this bike, that's what it's designed for, it's not designed to go any faster, but I didn't really want to ring it out, I mean, ideally I wouldn't be on the highway, but if I want to go to the Lake Tahoe area, I'm gonna have to pack this thing up first. Get there, really. One thing you don't really get in these videos is a sense of scale, which maybe I'll try uh, using a wide angle or something like that. I want to get a drone too because that would be perfect out here. Um, now this this is the uh, tricky area, really. I mean. If I go down this road and keep going down this part, uh, this part of the trail goes right into that sandy hill, and I already busted my ass once. So, uh, since, since I'm out here alone, I'm actually not really impressed by this. But, I guess this is just a first look type of thing. But that, that hill is just completely sand, and my tire pressure is not even set up correctly for this. So we have three paths open this the easy way, the non-pushy way, that's kind of pushy, and the way that you get touched in ways Uncle Joey doesn't know about. Yeah, I'm not going up that sandy hill. So, I'm almost at like 1300 miles on this bike, and uh, yeah, there are some things that I guess throughout here I'll have to set, set it up differently. I'm definitely going to need uh, different tires out here. Then again, I, I'm considering what to do because I'm really thinking like I can I can see where the limitations of this bike are and where like the RX3 would be good for what I want to do. Like I don't want to rip around the dirt so much as I want to explore some of these. Oh, I guess the easier pass. Like you now, I've only been here a week and I'm already almost broken my leg <laughs> sliding down one of these uh, uh, sand hills. Dumb enough to try it and uh, pin my foot under my bike and twist it all up and stuff. So, yeah, but other than that, I mean, this bike is fine. It's not a speed demon. That's perfect. I just have to find like some people to ride with. I don't want to go too far out of the desert in case I do something stupid and you know get myself killed. You know, rattlesnake eats me and a mountain cat eats me. But. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, there's still plenty of stuff to explore. There's another trail that leads up uh, closer to my job that has got a whole bunch of wild horses and stuff just chilling there. Um, and I didn't even get the chance to go to the Tahoe area because uh, I really want to check out uh, what's up there. But I gotta, I gotta find some people around here to ride with. Just, uh, because I mean, it's a big desert, man. Nobody can hear you scream. But anyways, I shall see you later.